ஓம் அஸ்மத் குருபியோ நமஹா ஜெய் ஸ்ரீமன்னாராயண வி ஆல் நோ த ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் பிரஹ்லாதா பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ஹூம் லார்ட் எக்ஸிபிட்டட் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் டென் அவதாராஸ் நோன் ஆஸ் நாரசிம்ஹா அனதர் அவுதர் ஆஃப் லார்ட் விஷ்ணு வாஸ் வாமன் அவதாரா தெர் இஸ் சம் பர்பஸ் பிஹைண்ட் ஈச் இன்கார்னேஷன் ஆஃப் லார்ட் விஷ்ணு லார்ட் விஷ்ணுஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் அவதாரா வாஸ் மச்சாவதாரா தென் எமர்ஸ்ட் கோர்மாவதாரா வராஹா வாஸ் ஹிஸ் தேர்ட் அவதாரா ஹிஸ் ஃபோர்த் அவதாரா வாஸ் நாரசிம்ஹா அண்ட் ஹிஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் அவதாரா வாஸ் வாமனா த பர்பஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வாமனாவதாரா வாஸ் பல் சக்கரவர்த்தி ஹூ வாஸ் நன் அதர் தேன் த வெரி கிராண்ட் சன் ஆஃப் பிரஹ்லாதா great grandson of hiranyakashyapa in fact both prahlada and bal chakravarti were the devotees of lord vishnu do you know which species did both prahlada and bal chakravarti belong to yes they belong to demon species in this context we must talk about kashya prajapati who had two wives named aditi and diti aditi's children were considered as devatas because of their sattvic nature and diti's children were considered as demons because of their rajasic and tamasic nature so devatas goddesses only had the eligibility to be the rulers of heaven we all know there is purpose of lord's arrival to this world let us know significance of lord's incarnation as vamana mahabali was performing mahayaga to attain the post of indra the ruler of all devatas in heaven it is believed those who perform such yaga 100 times will attain indra's post mahabali or bali already completed 99 yagas and one more was left if he had accomplished it present indra would have lost his seat so he created hurdles to prevent him from performing that yaga but it is of no use not only that normally those who belong to demon species would create havoc in the world because by birth they were demons when devatas were of sattvic nature these were of tamasic or rajasic nature so all goddesses approached lord vishnu to prevent him from performing 100 tyaga lord vishnu though he knew that bali was a very good devotee of his just for preventing him to finish 100 tyaga he was born to aditi and kashyapa prajapati on being requested by them slowly he was growing up and might have reached the age of eight so it was the time to perform upanayanam ceremony to that short boy named vamana at the time of this ceremony as the part of the ceremony he had to go for bhiksha as shown in the picture vamana reached bal chakravarti to collect bhiksha bali was so fascinated by the glorious face of the boy and asked what he wanted from him maharaj can you give me whatever i ask for why don't i I am known for my generosity. Come on, tell me, my child, how can I help you? Asked Bari. I want three feet of land for performing meditation, said the boy. What? Three feet of land? Do you know the one who is standing here is Mahabali? Don't insult me by asking me to fulfill such a mean desire, said King Bali very proudly. now we have to talk about sukracharya do you know who sukracharya was he was guru of all demons with his four sightedness he realized the boy was lord vishnu and warned bali chakravarti my dear bali please don't underestimate the boy the boy came to you with some intention don't try to fulfill his desire said sukracharya what my lord vishnu how lucky i am the one 
who can give anything to anyone came to me to ask for a small piece of land now my life will become fruitful said he saying so bal chakravarti washed vamana's feet and sprinkled water on his head and asked mahatma tell me what else can i give you vamana said yes maharaj i know about your deep concern but i want only 3 feet of land okay measure the land with your tiny feet said mahabali laughing sarcastically at the time of offering anything it's the custom of pouring water from the container called kamandalam shown in the picture so grajarya was very much worried he decided to stop the flow of water in the container with his supernatural powers entered that vessel wearing the form of an insect vamana realized everything and in order to let the water flow took a tiny stick and inserted it into the entrance of the container as it pierced into one of the eyes of sukracharya he became blinded in one eye couldn't endure the pain came out of it thus pouring water bali asked him to measure 3 feet of land to everyone's surprise vamana enhanced his body in such a way when he put his foot on the land the whole earth came under his foot king bali was shocked to his to see his enormous trivikrama form then he put his second step on the sky except his foot nothing was seen he then asked bali where would he put his third foot bal chakravarti realized lord vishnu came to this world as a tiny vamana just to wipe out his ego then fell on lord's foot and asked him to place it on his head because nothing else was there to place his third step the moment when vamana as trivikrama placed his third step on bali's head the king went so deep into the earth and reached other world named patala loka one way lord was very much pleased for his strong devotion towards him and bali's generosity attitude of giving everything to others lord made him the ruler of the whole world named patala loka thus bali is remembered forever by us all thus when prahlada was the cause of narsimha avatara mahabali became the cause of vamana avatara when lord narsimha proved that he could be anywhere anywhere and in any form lord vamana proved how he was all pervasive